Northern California is generally considered the area from the border of Oregon stretching south to around San Luis Obispo County. It has a number of slightly different climates and environments when compared to the much warmer desert climate in Southern California. This video will show 10 wonderful things to do in the north of the state that should appeal to everyone. Number 10. Visit Oakland. Oakland is a port city on the east side of San Francisco Bay. This charming city is known for its artsy scene, culture and museums, not to mention its food and beverage houses. Lake Merritt is a small lagoon right in the middle of the city and it's a brilliant way to see the shape of the city straight away. The beautiful city and the bay makes for breathtaking picturesque scenes. The name of the city comes from the forests on the outskirts, but in the city you can visit everything from museums to haunted houses. The Oakland Zoo is also one of the biggest in the world. Number 9. Explore San Francisco Chances are, if you're in Northern California, you'll probably find yourself in San Francisco at some stage. The Golden Gate City is one of the oldest cities in the West. It still contains the spirit of America in parts. It's an essential visit when in Northern California. I won't even begin to discuss the nightlife, food, and drink scene in San Francisco as we would be here all day long. Instead, let's focus on the many museums, cultural, and artistic areas. Pier 39 and the hilly crooked streets will take up some of your time. The Chinatown area is the biggest in the world outside of Asia. If you are so inclined, San Francisco has some amazing sports teams such as the famous Golden State Warriors and the 49ers. If you're in this part of the world, go and catch a game. The Golden Gate Bridge is a must-see destination. If you drive straight across it, you can visit the Redwood Forest and get some brilliant pictures of the bridge. Alcatraz is a must-see along and if you're inspired, travel to San Jose and visit parts of Silicon Valley. San Francisco is a huge area and there's so much to do and see that you really should plan to spend a couple of days here. Number 8. Relax by Lake Tahoe's crystal clear water. Once the city has gotten a little too much to bear, you can head east past Sacramento and go to Lake Tahoe for some time. Lake Tahoe is famous because of its natural beauty. It's also a freshwater lake and estimated to be one of the oldest bodies of water in the world. South Lake Tahoe is in California, while the north of the lake crosses the border into Nevada. Despite this little quirk, there's so much to do in either summer or winter. This lake is in the Sierra Nevada mountains. It's another geographical gem, a beautiful picturesque lake surrounded by huge mountains. In winter, the snow will fall and some of the water will freeze over, giving you opportunities for skiing and other winter sports. In the summer, it's dry and hot. You have so many options in the warm weather too, from hiking trails to kayaking. Number 7. Hike through the Redwood National and State Parks North of San Francisco and very close to the border of Oregon lies the Redwood National Park. This is often described as Jurassic Park because the films were shot here, but its barely touched state and tall unique tree line make it seem almost prehistoric. The Redwoods are the tallest trees in the world measuring sometimes up to 260 feet. This forest has stunning trails, but what makes it unique is its coastal location. You can trek right to the cliff and overlook the Pacific. There are opportunities for barbecue and camping around here, or you can visit numerous museums and even get on a steam train that will take you around the area. Number 6. Tour Yosemite National Park Of all the parks in the US, none quite captured the imagination like the Yosemite. Yosemite offers so much more than just hiking trails and mountain views. It's an incredible idyllic scene with forests, mountains, canyons, and lakes all in this one super park. It spans over 700,000 acres. The size is mind-boggling. Yosemite Falls Waterfall is one of the biggest and tallest in the country. Number 5. Explore Big Sur Big Sur is a mountainous and rugged area of the North California coast. It's so famous because it's undeveloped by man and left in a natural state. When driving by the coast, it looks like the Santa Luisa Mountains just rise out of the water. This area has everything from hiking trails to beachside forests to wild coastal roads. Bixby Creek Bridge is an iconic one to drive over and the scenery is absolutely stunning. You'll pass small towns on your drive which you can pop into on your adventure or you can camp at a couple of different areas. If you like camping, also check out my video about the best camping sites. Number 4. Experience the thermal features in Lassen Volcanic National Park. The Lassen Volcanic National Park lies in Northeast California, east of the city of Redding on Highway 44. It's a little out of the way from the rest of our sites, but a live volcano has to have gauged some interest. Lassen Peak is the largest plug dome volcano in the world and is still alive today. 
This great fiery mountain rises 10,500 feet into the air and you can see far off peaks from here. Another wonderful historical and geographical feature. Tourists can visit the geysers and hot sprays from the volcano. Museums are also very popular around here because of the many people who traveled this way, an incredible part of the world. Number 3. Discover secluded beaches in Point Lobos State Natural Reserve. Just north of Big Sur is Point Lobos. This place has been described as the greatest meeting point between land and sea in the world. It's also regarded highly as California's crown jewel of state parks, which is incredible praise for a state with such parks such as Yosemite and Lake Tahoe. The reason is very diverse flora and fauna on show. Underneath the water is a snorkeling paradise, with seals, sea lions and otters on show. Above land hiking trails through the redwood forests or at some lost sea coves are very popular. We would highly recommend visiting one of the many museums around here to further understand the history of the area. It's been a popular area ever since its discovery and has played a key role in California's not so distant past. Number 2. Drive the Pacific Coast Highway Okay, so the Pacific Coast Highway runs from Northern California to Southern California, so it's not technically all Northern California, but if you are starting a road trip from San Francisco, then it's the road you need to follow. We've touched on some of the experiences such as the Big Sur and the Redwood Forest, but you can see some other incredible sights on the trip. Keep in mind, it is a highway, so you can just pull off in the next town. Some extra sights to see while on the road include Half Moon Bay, Santa Cruz, Monterey Bay, Carmel by the Sea, and only after these sites will you eventually get to Big Sur. There's an entire video about the best stops when driving the Pacific Coast Highway on my channel. Be sure to watch it! Number 1. Go wine tasting in Napa Valley Napa Valley is located about an hour's drive outside of San Francisco. Due to its location, climate, and typical wind direction, it's one of the best grape-growing regions in the world. This means it has some of the best wineries and vineyards in the world. Apart from tasting incredible wine and food, there are countless other things to do here. One of the other most popular ways to see the region is via a hot air balloon. Another is one of the many wine trains and trams that will take you from vineyard to vineyard or town to town. This is a stunning place for couples and individuals alike. The many golf courses and things to do attract bachelor parties, while the thoughts of wine and relaxing spa usually attract bachelorette parties. It's an incredibly romantic area too, for couples who aren't there just yet. So that's it, a comprehensive list of the 10 best things to do in Northern California. I hope it's given you a different yet interesting itinerary for your trip. What is really incredible about this area is the straight diversity of experiences. Everything from frozen mountains and lakes to volcanoes, from wine to windsurfing. Truly a remarkable part of the state.